What is the purpose of life? Why are we here? The purpose of life is the best way to get the answer is, is from the one who has created us. Just like if you were to manufacture a product, you'd be the best one to come and ask, you know, how come you've designed it in a particular way? What's his purpose? So we know that there has to be a, there is a creator who created us, who created the universe, who has revealed, you know, in his final book, why he has created us and what's our ultimate purpose and where we're going. How do we know who this creator is? I mean, for example, you said that, you know, things don't come out by chance. There has to be a creator. There has to be someone who designs it, yeah. designs, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a mobile phone, a simple mobile phone, yeah. or whether the universe, how complex yeah. it is, you know, the way the planets move, mm. the way the stars uh, are, you know, yeah. someone had to, you know, design and make that. Yeah, I mean, it can't just come from nothing. Mm. Uh, I mean, a phone can't just come by itself think yeah. and, and become iPhone 7 and 8 and so on. Yeah, you know, so if you compare that to the universe, which is far more yeah. complicated, you know, you'll see the you'll see the universe, even our planet. So it can't just come from nothing. It's, yeah. it, you know, it defies lo basic logic to mm. even think that. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's a, one of the signs that, you know, if you find a mobile phone, you know, you wouldn't say it created it itself. Yeah. You know, someone, you know, an intelligent, intelligent engineer, designed the phone, you know, uh, made the screen, made the buttons, uh, you know, designed the function, the software, etc. So, using the same logic, the universe has to have a creator. I mean, if you look at, like you said, the phone is a physical object, right? Yeah. Even the sun, you can see it, it's, it's something physical that, and it has a purpose. If you compare the about two of them, what's the difference? They both have a purpose and they're, they're physical. And how can they both just come from something which is just from nothing? Mm. So the, the signs are out there. Yeah. So, you know, there is an intelligence behind this universe mm. and what we have around us. So, so yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a sign that there has to be a mighty being or a creator who's made all of that for us. Yeah. How do we know that this creator is one? For example, you know, there are so many religions in the world. How do we know which religion is right, basically? Yeah. So the oneness of this creator is so fundamental or so important yeah. to know. Mm. I mean, even in the religious, I mean, yes, you said you there are many. Even if you look at all the religions, right, whether it's Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, the actual, you know, scriptures always talk about the one creator, the one Lord, you know, the one we need to worship on. Unfortunately, because of lack of knowledge by the followers of those religions, people have deviated. Mm -hmm. um, and the Quran just came as a final word to reaffirm the true passage mm -hmm. of all the previous uh, prophets and all the previous books which have been revealed as well. Okay. So, so you know, that um, revelation of God is a communication from God. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't have God speaking to each individual person on this planet. Yes. So God communicates to us through revelation yeah. and the revelation that we Muslims have is the Holy Quran. So the Quran is the main communication we have from the yeah. Creator, from God Almighty. Yeah, Allah I mean it is the final Allah. message of mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to mm. the mankind yeah. on, on how to live our life and mm. how to worship our, our Creator and so on. Mm. So it is the final, you know, final testament. Yeah. So uh, just tell me a few words about what Allah means because you know um, anyone can make an object and they can call it God uh, the difference between God and a God and gods you know you just add an S or, or a capital G at the beginning yeah. which you call God um, so Allah is uh, is the word that the Muslims use for God so what's the difference between uh, you know Allah or using the word God? Basically? I mean, Allah is also used by uh, you know Jesus and other prophets as well, mm -hmm. referring to the one Almighty God, mm -hmm. Allah, the God, the one, the only God. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have any partners or anything like that, so you cannot add S to Allahs or, or make a goddess or God, uh, you know, male God and female God and so on. So it's a unique word which is only belongs to the one true God, Allah, mm -hmm. the one who has no partners, who doesn't baguette, is absolutely eternal. Mm -hmm. You can't play around with that word. It's a unique word mm -hmm. to do only only used for Allah. Mm -hmm. Third God. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That's uh, yeah. That's it. Makes sense because you know uh, the Christians. If you if you read the, the gospel, the word that Jesus called God Elohim, yeah. and it's it's exactly the same as saying Allah, mm. because mm. you know Jesus spoke Aramaic, Aramaic. and Arabic their sister languages basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Allah and Elohim, it's a very similar word. Mm. So um, uh, the word for God, Allah. It makes more sense, basically. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's unique, and that's the name which Allah or Almighty God has chosen for Himself mm -hmm. um, to, to be used to call upon Him. So, mm -hmm. and like I said, you can't play around with that word. Yeah, um, just like the English word God, mm -hmm. you know, the big G and the little G and so the, the capital. So Allah in Arabic, there's no such thing as that. Okay, so, so yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Ryan. My friend Ryan, a question. Do you uh, believe in God? Do you believe that there is one God? Um, and if you do, uh, what should be your relationship to Him? Yeah, I think there is just one God. I think it's my relationship just to be uh, as good as you can, be a righteous person, pray to God, and just mm -hmm. close to God, in relationship to God. So I think because it can't be it's not, there's not difference there's only one God there can't be like, difference it's just one God you should pray to there's not I say even our, other religions I think they okay. say it's like God but there's just one God they might call it different names in different religions yeah. but it's just one God one God yeah. and do you know uh, where God is I think he's everywhere mm -hmm. So he's a powerful you know, being, he's everywhere. Yeah. He's everywhere. You, you know, physically, or you saying his knowledge is everywhere? Because we Muslims, we say that God's knowledge is everywhere. For example, God can see us right now. And we can't see him, yeah, he's not physically here, yeah. but his knowledge is here. And, and, he can and spiritual hear us being, right yeah, now. Here, yeah. But physically, we say God is outside or above the universe, above the heavens. Because, you know, the universe is very big to us. Yeah. Never for ending. God, it's you know, it's like a, you know, it's a small, it's like it's an like object, a yeah. it's like a room basically, yeah. yeah and we say God is above the heavens, and um, we have this chapter in the Holy Quran. Uh, God says who He is and where He is. I remember that. Yeah, that's uh, the se second chapter of the Quran. And, uh, the, uh, I think it's page, uh, maybe page 20, 21, I think I recall. Maybe. I think it was, yeah, one, yeah. Uh, that special chapter is called Ayatul Kursi. It means uh, the, the chapter about the chair All right, no worry. of God. No worry. So that is very powerful. Uh, and that says God, God is above the heavens. And His throne is above the heavens, or extends the heavens. So um, we only know about uh, God if He tells us about Himself. Through knowledge. You're never, never ever going to physically see Him this lifetime. Yeah. And for, for example, your knowledge, our knowledge is very limited. Because you know when we're born in this world, yeah. we, we know very limited things. We, you know when a baby comes to this world, the only thing the baby knows is to cry. <laughs> and, the, and the baby's crying for milk, for, for food. <laughs> so, you know, the, the knowledge of God, where He is, uh, where we come from, we don't know these things. But this, the human spirit is the other part of, of our body, which is very unique. So, um, the message of today is that um, uh, is life just a game and what is the purpose to life? So hopefully uh, you will find this uh, video interesting and share it on YouTube and Facebook.